Good afternoon, morning or evening. My name is Robert and I'm going to be showing you a cool little tip for doing Windows Store app development and that is a tool called SAML Spy. Uh, before we get to that though, let me show you what the problem is. So I'm working here in Visual Studio and if I bring up my application here in the simulator, uh, I'm using the Metro Grid helper. So this is a free little extension to uh, to XAML applications you can add in. And it, you can see it adds this little grid to help you really get that sort of pixel perfect alignment uh, so that your apps really do match that Metro style, that Metro theme. So what you'll see here is that with this, um, I'm getting a slight, really slight sort of one pixel, two pixels at the top here. It's actually probably four pixels on the top and about four pixels on the side here. It's just this image is not perfectly aligned. And it can be really difficult to find how to, how to just, what is causing that? And where is that problem coming in? And verifying what the fix should be. So let's stop the application and uh, let me talk about XAML Spy, which is the solution to this. So XAML Spy is an, uh, an application that you can download. Uh, there is a 21 day trial version as well as there, once the trial is expired, there is a paid version. And what you can do is once you download XAML Spy and install it, you also need to set your application up. And to do that, it's rather simple. First thing you need to do is add in this reference over here. So you see, we've got this XAML Spy reference in here, and then you need to make some changes to your application. It is really well documented. Uh, so I've made those changes. So now what I can do is I can run my app again. So let's run it here. And you'll see here, once we've run the app, we've got this XAML Spy little control here. And I can come into the XAML Spy application, and you'll see we've got Analyze. We can see a lot of interesting things going on. And so what I want to do here is my application and I would focus on the user interface and you can see there is my scroll viewer so let's go back here and we'll get the little XAML spy tag here hi and I can hit the select visual and move around in here and I'm going to select that area and you'll see here on the XAML spy in the background as I do that it actually updates with what set what I'm selected on so this is really useful so I'm going to select onto that area and you can see I've got a little gap between the dash line from uh, XAML Spy and my image there. So now I can come into here and I can start to look around and so I know this is either an issue with margins or padding. So this grid here, it's margins, we can check are zero and there would be no padding on that. Um, so the next one down would be um, this, this border we have here and we can scroll down and you can see its margins are zero and its padding, so that's probably not it. We'll let's go down to the next grid on this, and once again, its margins are zero, so it's probably not that. And you'll note, if I actually, as I move around in here, so if I just jump all the way down to the image, for instance, you'll see it's now selected the image. So you can work both ways in this. Um, let's go back up here, we'll go to the content border. And you'll see here, we've, we've gone to an, a lower level down now. Um, but you can see we do have a margin here. So what's great is I can actually just set that to zero and hit enter and we'll come back here and instantly it's updated. And you'll see now it's actually fitting just right on my screen. So now I know exactly which control is the problem. So in this case, it's the content border. So what we can do now is we'll come back to Visual Studio. We'll hit stop and I'm going to go to that page and I'm gonna open it up with blend because I find that editing templates with Blend is significantly easier than editing templates in Visual Studio. So let's wait for the screen to come up. There we go. And we'll just navigate to that location. So there's my grid. And I'm gonna go in here and it's the item uh, container style. So we'll edit a copy of that. And let's name that. And so in XAML Spy, uh, is not running obviously because it's um, the application is not finished. And so if we expand out, we'll find that content border down here, which is the one that we figured is the problem. And you'll see it's inheriting some border th uh, thickness there. But if we go down, here's some margins. So if we reset these to zero, and we should be able to save that. So we'll make that single change. We'll come back to Visual Studio and we can run again and it'll fire up into the simulator. And what we should see is now the image lines up perfectly with the grid. So I can get that 
pixel perfect alignment that really matters that really that important caring about your applications and so to do this manually can be very tiresome and very difficult but when you have a tool like XAML Spy, this becomes very very easy so hopefully in these few minutes you've learned an awesome trick um, and I, I thank you for spending the time watching this uh, if you'd like to get hold of me you can get hold of me on twitter at r mclean or uh, if you'd like to uh, or you can get hold of me via my website and get lots of other tips and tricks on my website at sadf